Goedenavond, Dibaris. Ek groet u allemaal in die wonderbare naam van ons Heere Jesus um, en ek verwelkom u allemaal aan ons bid hier vanavond. Uh, Dit is nou net klein beetje oor 7 uur en um, ek verwelkom u allemaal bij ons levendige uitzending van ons bid hier vanavond. En men kom ons maak, uh, kom ons open in gebed, kom ons open en begin in die rechte manier. Uh, net daar waar u is, kom ons sluit ons oe, kom ons buig ons hoofdes, kom ons nader die Heere. Bid saam met my daar waar u is by die huis op die oomlik. Heavenly Father, into your presence we come in this night hour, Lord, not by works we've done, but by thy grace, by thy mercy, and by thy love. Lord, I think about it so often, there's not one of us that can justify ourselves or prove ourselves to you, Lord, but like the message that I heard this morning, Lord, alles wat ek is, is genade, en alles wat ek het, is maar net geleen, en Heere, ek dankie, dat dier die genade, dier die goedheid, en dier die bloed, ons jy mag nader vanavond, Heere, en Heere, ons nader die troonsale, dier die bloed van die enigste seen, Heere, ek pleit die kostbare bloed oor my, ek pleit die kostbare bloed oor elke persoon, elke gemeente lid, en elke een wat gaan luister vanavond, Heere, ons pleit die kostbare bloed oor ons, dis net dier die bloed, wat ons in die troonsale mag inkom, dis net dier die bloed, dat ons gerechtverdig is, ons is nie gerechtverdig dier ons eie werke, maar dier die bloed van Jesus, die kostbare bloed van die lam van God, die offersbloed wat vir ons gestort was op Golgotha. Heere, ons dankie vir die bloed, ons dankie vir die offer van die persoon, ons dankie vir die liefde en die goedheid en die trouw vanavond. Heere, Heere, ons kom kort, dikwils, maar Heere, jy is altyd getrouw, Heere, jy kom nooit kort nie, Heere, you've never failed us yet and we thank you, Lord, that we can put our hope and our faith and our trust in you, Jy is die rots van die eeuwe, en jyre, ons skuil by jy, ons bou ons levens op jy, jy is die een wat nie beweeg nie, en nie skuif nie, jy is altyd die selfde, giste van dag en tot en ewigheid, en jyre, ons loof jy, en ons prijs jy, en ons eer jy vanavond. Jyre, ek vraag, sien ons, sien ons met vanavond so bid jy, sien ons jyre, met die, met die klein gedachte en die woord wat gebreek gaan word vanavond, en jyre, laat het in ons harte sal ingaan, en het sal vrug dra, ons gee al die lof, die eer, die prijs en die aanbidding vanavond, en ons dankie daarvoor, in Jesus naam, Amen en Amen. Die waar is ek al net een kort gedachte by u los vanavond, net voor ons bykie saam bid, oor een paar saakies, um, maar net een klein gedachte, as jy hom een titel wil gee, kan jy hom noem, op een onbekende grondgebied, on unknown territory, op onbekende grondgebied, on unknown territory. It happens to us, lots in our lives, that we come to a new situation, or a new beginning, ons vind ons in a plek, wat ons nie was te voere nie, uh, gister en eer gister, uh, miskien is dit een nieuwe werk, dan is dit een onbekende grondgebied, is dit nie? As ons in a situasie beland, wat ons nooit te voere in was nie, en ons weet nie wat om te maak, of wat om te doen, dan bevind ons ons op a, onbekende grondgebied, een vreemde grondgebied. Betek hier kom ons aan een plek waar ons miskien een siekte het, of ons, ons is siek, of ons het um, geldprobleme, of ons is, ons is nou in een omstandighede wat ons nie tevore ervaar het nie, dan bevind ons ons op een onbekende grondgebied. And I think about that at this moment, if we think about the world, and we think about what's going on in the world at this moment, I don't want to mention that name, people talk about it a lot, we know what's going on in the world, but the whole world has been brought to an unknown territory. Die Heere wereld is nou gedompel in een onbekende grondgebied. Die Heere wereld was nie tevore nie. This is the first time in the world that the world has been affected like this, een onbekende grondgebied. And for children of God, we also find ourselves now in a place and in a time and in a situation that we've never found ourselves in before. Ons was nooit op die grondgebied te voere. As ons vijf jaar terug kon kyk en iemand ge- gesê het nie die kerke gaan toemaak, so ons gesê nooit, hulle sal my nooit van die kerk af weghou nie. Hulle kan sê ons moet toemaak, maar hulle sal dit nie recht kry om het toe te maak nie. Maar nou bevind ons ons op een onbekende grondgebied wat vijf jaar gelede niemand zou so gesê het, kon gebeur het nie. And 
Sometimes these places of unknown territory in an onbekende grondgebied can a vreesachtige plek wees. It's something we're not used to. We've never experienced it before. So now we can be fearful and we can be afraid of it. And, and we can be saying, but Lord, what, what's happening? I don't know what to do. You know, I, 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 I used to know how to live my life. I used to know how to serve God. I used to know how to do my Godsdienst two years ago. But since last year, June, alles is so omgedompel. Ek is op hierdie onbekende grondgebied. Heere, ek weet nie wat om te doen nie. Ek weet nie wat om te maak nie. Uh, werk is moeilik. Huishoudelike omstandighede is moeilik. My lichaam is moeilik. Wat moet ek maak, Heere? Wat moet ek doen? And this evening I have a word of bemoediging and a word of encouragement for each and every single one of us that are listening and might listen a little bit later about an onbekende grondgebied. I want us to understand that this is something that is not happening for the first time. If we look at the Bible, when God told Noah to build the ark, God put Noah on an onbekende grondgebied. He was a man that was building an ark. He was building a boat in a world in which there was no rain. He didn't know what to expect. He didn't know what was going to happen. When he was put into that ark and lifted up above the floods and the door was closed, he was in an onbekende grondgebied. He was a man in a world that was flooded. He was never there before and he didn't know what to expect. When we think about Abraham, God says to Abraham, come out from where your parents are. Abraham, come out from Ur of the Chaldees. The Bible says, Die Heere het hom gestuur in een grondgebied wat hy nie geken het nie. Hy het nie geweet waar jy nou gaan nie of waar jy nou trek. Hy het net geweet, die Heere het gesê, jy moet gaan, jy moet uittrek. En hy het hom self bevind op een onbekende grondgebied, waar hy saam met sy familie gewoon het in die tente. And he never knew where he was going. It was a new thing for him. If we think about the children of Israel, when they came out of Egypt, geslag na geslag na geslag, was in Egypte, Maar toe Moes is hulle uitlei, uit Egypte en uit ballingskap uit, het hulle ingetree in een plek van een vreemde grondgebied. Hulle was nooit te voor in die plek gewees. But God looked after them all throughout that, that journey. And when we think about Joshua, when he came into the promised land, onbekende grondgebied, they didn't know what they were going to see on the other side of the Jordan and in the promised land. So it's not something that's new. If we see in the Bible, often God has taken people to an onbekende grondgebied. He's taken them to something that they don't know and that they've never experienced before. So this isn't just happening to us for the first time in history. This has happened in the Bible all throughout. We see that the children of God have been taken to places that they didn't know and they didn't have an experience of before. I'd like to read something to you specifically about Joshua when I come to the bemoediging part now. What the Bible says in Joshua chapter 5 verses 13 to 15, it says the following, it's very important. And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho, that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, a man stood opposite him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went to him and said to him, are you for us or are you for our enemies? Are you with us or are you with our enemies? So he, the man with the sword drawn in his hand, said to Joshua, no, in other words, I'm not for you and I'm not for them. But as commander of the army of the Lord, I have now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshipped and said to him, what does my Lord say to his servant? Then the commander of the Lord's army said to Joshua, take the sandals off your foot for the place you stand on is holy ground. And Joshua did so. Very important for us. When we come into a territory and a place in our life that we've never been before, the most important thing for us to know is who are we with? Whose side are we on? You see, Joshua asked this man, are you on my side or are you on my enemy's side? And the man, which we believe is the Lord Jesus Christ standing there, said to him, I'm not on your side or the enemy's side. And Joshua realized something very important. He realized that if I'm going to win, if I'm going to succeed in this onbekende grondgebied that I've come into, I must make sure that I am on God's side. A lot of the time we can say, oh, God's on my side, God's on my side. That can get very dangerous. I don't want God to be on my side. I want to be on God's side. When Joshua realized who it was that he was talking to, he fell down on his face and worshipped him and said, I must be on 
on your side. You see, when, when Noah was in the ark, in an unknown situation, God was with him in the ark. When Abraham went to a land he didn't know, God went with him into that land. When Moses took the children of Israel into a place they'd never been before, what happened? God was with them, a cloud by day, a fire by night, the angel of the Lord and the presence of God descending upon the tabernacle. In the same way, you and I, it's very, very important. As ons op onbekende grondgebied kom, en ons is op een op die oomlik, is het baie noodzakelijk vir ons om te weet, ons dien die Heere. Ons loop hier die grondgebied met die Heere. Want as ek op die Heerese kant het en die Heere dien in geest en in waarheid, dan is ek nie man alleen op een onbekende grondgebied, maar ek is nou man in Godse teenswoordigheid. Waar God my lei, gaan hy my lei. Want die Heere is my herder. Hy, hy lei my na groen weivelde, na waters waar ris is. Ek ken nie die groen weivelde, want is een onbekende grondgebied. Ek ken nie waar die waters is nie, maar die herder ken. En ek moet saam met die herder loop in die omstandighede en in die onbekende grondgebied. That's the first thing that I want to say to us, is that when we're going through this, don't think it's strange, don't think that, that we're experiencing something that no other Christian has experienced before. Look at the Bible, they were all taken into, into an onbekende grondgebied, but what made them successful was the God that they served and the one that they were walking with. I'd like to read another scripture to you, written in the book of Isaiah, Chapter 43, verses 1 to 3, says the following, But now, thus says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and who formed you, O Israel, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Now listen to this. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. When you go through the waters, it won't overwhelm you. When you go through waters, what's that? It's an onbekende grondgebied van moeilijkheid wat hier by jou oor is sit. Want die water is nie onder jou, is by jou oor al reeds. God says even in those situations where the water of omstandigheden and difficulties is rising, even there I'm the God that will take you through the waters and take you through the rivers. I'll take you through the fire. I'll take you through the dangerous situations, the difficult moments, even the sicknesses. I'll take you through and not even the smell of fire will remain upon your clothes. I think about Daniel when he was thrown in the lion's den. Onbekende grondgebied, but when his feet touched the lion's den, he was not in the lion's den alone because he was on God's side. I think about Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego when they were fire, thrown in that fiery furnace. When they were thrown in the fiery furnace, what did they say before? They said, we choose God's side. We choose God's side. And when they, when, when they went into the fire, who was with them? The fourth man was with them in the fiery furnace because they chose God's side. And he was with them in an onbekende grondgebied van a vierwind. And not even the fire was upon their clothes. So I want to encourage you with this. Ja, onbekende tye, moeilike tye, moeilike omstandighede. I don't know what you're going through tonight. I don't know what onbekende grondgebied you're standing on. I don't know if you're standing on a, a strange territory of sickness that you've never experienced in your life before. I don't know if you're standing on onbekende grondgebied van van, van werkomstandighede, lichamelike omstandighede, um, probleme by die huis, want nou is dat druk van die uiterlijke omstandighede in die wereld, en het plaas druk op die innerlijke werking van huishouding en van hevelik. I don't know what difficulties you're facing, but I do know one thing. If you have said, Lord, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. If you've said in the simplest terms, Jesus, I give my heart to you, Lord. Al gaat het opdraande en afdraande, Jere, jere ek wil die dien en geest en in waarheid. Eers my God, ek loof jy, ek prijs jy, ek eer jy. Ek het aangesluit by, by die kant. I've joined your side, Lord. Then I want to tell you that no matter how difficult the situation, I, I can't walk upon the waters, but I know a man who does. I can't help you in an onbekende grondgebied, but I know the one who said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. I, I'm not the one that can take you out of sickness, but I, I know the one that the Bible spoke about and said, by his stripes we are healed. That the Bible speaks about and says, he himself bore our infirmities upon the cross. I, I don't know and I can't rick you out of an onbekende 
grondgebied, but I know the one that says, my rod and my staff, they comfort you. And though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you'll fear no evil, for he is with you. I know the one who walks upon the waters. I know the one who holds the stars in the palm of his hand. His name is Jesus, and he's the one that's going to carry us through every new situation, every difficult omstandigheden, and every valley, valley of difficulty and persing and problemen, is hy nog steeds die lely van die dale. En ek wil u daarmee bemoedig in a land, in a country, in a onbekende grondgebied, is ons nog steeds saam met die een wat ons ken. Hy is die bekende aan ons en aan ons siel en aan ons harte. Sy naam is Jesus, die een wat ons lei. Remember that tonight. Kom ons vat net een oomlikkie, kom ons bid saam. Let's pray about exactly what we've been talking about now. You know, there's something that the Bible says. The Bible says that we must come boldly into the throne room of grace, that we might obtain mercy to help in a time of need. That means that we have an open invitation to come into God's presence and to pray and to bring these situations and these omstandighede na hom, by sy dear boerevoete, by, by sy true and sale. He, the Bible says Jesus is on the right hand of the Father where he, hy, hy, hy tree in for ons, dagelijks, aanhoudend. The Bible says that we can approach that by the blood and the Holy Spirit that that the Holy Spirit prays through us sometimes when we don't know what to pray, then the Holy Spirit helps. And and all of this speaks to me and shows me that God wants us to tell him his problems and God wants to help us. Die Heere sy hand is nie te kort, sy arm is nie te kort, sy oog is nie blind nie, sy oor is nie doof nie. Sy oor en sy hart is oop aan die gebede van sy kinders. Kom ons bid, bid saam met my, luister terwijl ek bid, maar kom ons bid in ons vraag vir ons self, vir ons familie, vir ons gesin, vir ons huisgesin, vir ons werke, vir ons gemeente, vir ons pastore, kom ons bid. Amen. Heavenly Father, into your presence we come in this night hour, Lord. And Lord, even though we find ourselves on unknown ground and unknown territory, in onbekende grondgebied, Heere, bring ons al hierdie onbekende tye en onbekende grondgebiedens voor, Heere, op hierdie oomlik. Heere, ons weet nie, want ons was nie hier te voor, maar Heere, ons ken en ons weet dat jy saam met ons is. Jere, jy weet alles, jy weet die begin van die einde en die einde van die begin. Jere, ons moet altyd onthou, dat daar is niks wat jy om kan vang nie. You, this virus didn't catch you by surprise. The situations we find ourselves in now, they caught us by surprise maybe, but it never caught you by surprise. So Lord, we want to pray. We want to ask first, Lord, for the health of our gemeente, the health of of our loved ones, Lord. Lord, at home, Lord, we pray and we ask you, ons is op a onbekende grondgebied, maar die woord is nog steeds aan ons bekend. You said you'll protect us. You said you'll look after us. You said you'll keep us safe. You said, Lord, if the blood is on the doorposts of our house, that the angel will pass by. Lord, we've put your blood upon the doorposts of our souls and, 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 and of our family, Lord. We've loved you and served you over the years. And I know you will not fail us or disappoint us now. So we pray and we ask you, protect us, protect our family, protect our gemeente, protect our loved ones. Lord, those that are sick, we pray and ask you for your healing for each and every single one of them, Lord, that you would lay your nail scarred hand upon them, Jesus, that you would heal them, that you would lift them up out of the sick bed that they find themselves in, Lord God, that you would heal them, Lord, from the biggest diseases to a, 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 a sniffle and a runny nose, I know that you are the God that heals. Lord, you said from the beginning that you are the God that heals us. And Lord, we thank you for that. Lord, I pray for omstandighede in die werk, Heere. Mense wat wat een moeilike tykie het op die oomlik met werkse omstandighede, dat is minder werk, minder skofte, minder, um, uh, there's less opportunities, Lord. Lord, we pray and we ask that you would make a way. I think often of the prophet, Lord, that when you looked after the prophet, you sent the ravens to look after him, you didn't send a rich man. Lord, when you sent the prophet to be looked after, Lord, he wasn't looked after by the richest man in the city, he was looked after by a widow. That, 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 Lord, the oil didn't dry up and the, and, 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 and the meal didn't stop, Lord. Lord, we know that you supply all our needs according to your riches in glory. And, Lord, our bread and our water shall be supplied, Lord. 
Lord, we know that you will bring it by the ravens or you'll bring it by the way that we least expect it. But we know that you shall bring it because I've never seen the righteous forsaken or their seed begging for bread. There's promises you've made us. And Lord, I ask you, help Lord. Lord, bring the in, bring the inkomst, Heere. As die olie nie moet stop nie, dan bring die olie, Heere. Maar laat ons ons binnenkamer sal toemaak om die olie in te gooi. Want wanneer ons die olie ingooi van gebed, dan kom die olie van voorsiening. Lord, let us close our doors. Let us pray that the oil can flow again, Lord. Lord, we pray and we seek you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray for huishoudelike omstandighede, for marriages, Lord. Lord, for the situations and the pressure and the druk wat op die huishoudelike familie geplaas is en die gesin geplaas is dier wat gebeur met COVID, dier. Lord, I ask you to help and I ask you to make a way for us, Lord, because you're the one that, that heals. You're the Prince of Peace. And I ask that you would be in our houses and in our marriages and in our families. You're the only one that provides us with peace, Lord Jesus. It's you and it's you alone. And if we have you, we have peace. Lord, I ask you to draw us closer to you in this time. You know, that ons bieke sal afsonder en, en anhou met die gebede, bieke vast, bieke op die sak en as sal klim en die aangezig sal soek. Because I feel it strongly in this time you are calling you're calling to your children to come closer to you because the Bible clearly says the righteous will get more righteous. The holy will become more holy and shine like the sun, but the unrighteous and the ungodly will become more unrighteous and ungodly. Here, ons wil nie wegval nie. Ons wil vastklou aan die deurbore voete. Ons wil vasthou aan die soom van die kleed, Heere. Ons wil nie soos die maagde wees wat slaap, Heere. Maar ons wil ons lampies recht hou, want die komst van die Heere is nabij. Dis nabij, Heere. En Heere, ons gee al die lof, die eer, die prijs en die aanbidding. En ons dankie daarvoor, in Jesus naam. Baie dankie, die is. Aanhou met gebed. The Bible says that them that overcome, them that overcome, Jesus says, I'll give them the right to sit with me on my throne. Dis nie hulle wat tou ingooi nie, maar hulle wat anhou, wat gaan wen. Anhou met gebed, anhou met die Heere dien, anhou met jou, om vir jou familie te bid, en onthou, ons is amal, dis nie net jy nie, ons is amal op een onbekende grondgebied, maar, ons het die Heere Jesus saam met ons. Alles wat onbekend, gaan hy altyd vir ons zorg. Die Heere sien jou en sien die woord aan jou hart. Baie dankie die baris.